right up here, I'm going to scrub in a blue, soft blue background. I do like using this a little more clear gel. I do like using this black canvas. I think that works out pretty well. It's an abstract background, but you could just as well take this very same painting and make it not abstract. You could do something a little bit more realistic in your background. But for what I wanted to achieve today, I don't think it's necessary. But you're more than welcome to give that a try. And I'd love to see your version. If you do try that, let me know how that works out for you. Now I've got the quarter inch flat brush. I think this is perfect size. I'm going to take some white. Of course, our daisies are going to be all kinds of colors. Here's some, you know, I mean, all kinds of colors within the white. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of yellow. And here's just a little bit of red. See that? And I'm going, well, a little more red. Actually, a lot more red. I don't want much yellow, mostly red. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of pure blue. I don't want any of that black in there. All right, here we go. I'm just going to start building in my daisies where, where I want them. I see maybe, well, maybe let's start right here. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Honestly, yeah, that's not bad. I'm just going to set my brush down on the top here, press down and kind of give it a little, a little soft wiggle. See that? Oh, this is, this is easy on that black canvas. This particular daisy, he's kind of sitting out here. Well, that's nice. Kind of sitting out there, maybe in a little bit of a downward fashion. That's really kind of pretty. That's really kind of pretty. I'm picking up a lot of that paint, so I'm going to add white to it. The color is going to change because all of this is going to muddy in with it, and that is just the way it is. <laughs> Brighten that up just a little. That's pretty. This is good. I'm actually mixing a little, but I'm okay with that. See, it's a little bit on the gray side, but I may want a little more shadowy down here. So I'm totally okay with that. I can sharpen anything that needs to be sharpened, you know. I'll show you. We've, this is only step one. If you're like, I don't like my daisies. They're not coming out right. Whatever. This is only step one. You're going to fix them. You're going to let them. They're going to get better. You don't need to be perfect here. In fact, I'm going to begin to be a little bit sloppier now as I'm coming away from my main cluster of daisies. I want to be a little sloppier and I want this to feel a little bit more. It's going to feel painted. This is not going to feel, I don't paint photographic anyways, but it sure isn't going to feel photographic. It's going to absolutely feel painted. I'm going to have that painterly feel to it. And I, oh, I like that, you know, I like that. I'm just using very little color, very little paint, you know, physical paint, very little. Now I'm going to take some pure white on a clean quarter inch brush. You could use a detail round. You don't have to use the quarter inch brush. Use a three quarter or a two inch brush, whatever you want to use. So anyway, I'm using the one quarter inch brush and I'm going to mix some white and uh, well, probably just a tiniest skosh of Hansi yellow. Not much. Oh, not much. I don't want green. <laughs> little skosh of Hansi yellow. Not much. Little skosh of yellow ochre too. That yellow ochre is pretty. I don't want to, I want it to look white, but I don't want to use pure white. The light's coming through just like this. It's going to strike, obviously, you can see it's already built in. It's going to strike some of these flowers and then shade some of these. I do not want to expose the painting evenly. This side is a lot darker and it just makes a big difference. So I've got some of that paint here. Not a lot. If you start glopping on a lot of paint you know, to begin with, this is not going to work. You need to be very sparing with the amount of paint. Almost no paint. You saw we did all of those daisies with virtually nothing. That is virtually nothing. So it just doesn't require a lot of paint for what we're doing here today. I'm going to set my brush down. You may get one petal, you may get 10, you may get half a petal before you need to reload. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five before I need to reload. I'm going to wipe the brush and reload. I'm going to set that paint down. See, I, I got two petals there and I'm going to have to reload. My goodness, is it that finicky? Does it really take all of that? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm a little more yellow ochre in that. Go ahead and try to get three petals or three flowers. I flipped my brush around there. If you try to get three flowers out of this, it's not going to work. You're going to get only a couple petals. Again, if you're getting three flowers out of this, you're doing something wrong. Uh, don't, don't try to do that. 
think it's time to mix up a purple. Let's take some red and blue to make a purple. Very neutral purple, not really to the red or blue side, kind of neutral, if at all possible. That looks pretty good right there. Now we can use that purple. I'm gonna wipe some of that off, I had too much in there. But it's fairly dark. I'm gonna use that purple, just a little dusting of it. I don't need much on the brush. And it's like, where do you want this purple? Well, let's start right here. Anywhere you would want a shadow, consider putting this purple in there. Now, having said that, if you want to stop at any time during this painting process and allow the painting to dry completely, then good, you should. You should probably do that. I'm gonna complete it while it's wet. And you can too. But do not feel in any way, shape, or form pressured. In fact, you could do this painting twice um, and have like a couple of versions, you know, and allow those versions to dry, you know, allow them to dry. What I'm saying is if like, I've only painted 20 minutes, I wanna do something else. Well, do it again, you know what I mean? But don't feel pressured to finish in one day. You may need to let it dry. If, there, if anything weird starts to happen, you're gonna have to let it dry. And then go back and then just pick up this lesson as if it were wet. Don't worry about it, you know, and just continue where, where I'm telling you to do. Do the same things. And there you go. Now we're going to go ahead and take another clean um, quarter inch brush. And I'm going to take some yellow, white, a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm actually going to start with my highlight first. We're going to do the centers of the flower. And this is the most impactful, most probably most important part of at least one of the most important parts of the painting. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just right here, I'm going to set down the highlight part first. Boom, like so. Nice big yellow center. Yeah, that's probably okay. Let me see. Now, each one, I got to be very careful because it needs to, it needs to follow, you know, the, the way that the, that the daisy is facing. In other words, this one is not facing this way. It's actually facing this way and then coming toward you. Down, left, and toward you. And the center of the daisy here has got to be done just like so. Boom. Obviously, this is nothing but highlight. Nothing but highlight. That one's uh, carefully here. Just a little boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's all the highlight that one gets. That's going to be green. This one here so this one here just a little bit I think this one needs to be a little more paint a little brighter a little texture here is actually going to be a good thing oh, I like that see we're starting to get somewhere they don't all have to be perfect um, let me see right there a little you can take and scrape that off with a palette knife and then wipe it off and then kind of repair your daisy. Because you have black canvas underneath, it's actually more forgiving than you might think. This is probably gonna be where you get most of your action in is this burnt umber. And what's nice to see, it, that's why you start with the highlights first even though it feels a little erratic. Because you can easily with that burnt umber just like I did right there, just eat away. So like, that's, that's too bright. But we knew that. You just come back in here and you can just eat that right up with that burnt umber. No big deal. That's why that burnt umber is last <laughs> and not first. Now the next step really doesn't require much paint application. In fact, I'm gonna dry my brush off, wipe it off really good so basically totally clean. And I'm going to pick out a few of these daisies that I want to adjust. Yours may be different. If you have a daisy you like, don't mess with it. But let me show you how to soften if you want to soften some of your daisies. So I've got nothing, again, nothing in the brush. And I'm gonna get a fresh paper towel. I'll wipe that brush continually. But I can just take and I can just stroke and honestly create some petals that weren't there. Just with the strokes, be very careful though, continually wiping the brush. But you can see little by little, you're just dialing in your painting. That's pretty, that's pretty. See now we're, now it's like almost just, we lose it almost into a fog, which is just artistic. And then they're like rolling three-dimensionally out of that. It's very, it's supposed to look like a sphere, like a soccer ball. There you go. All right, now right over here. Man, I, I'm liking that. Don't necessarily want to touch that. Let me touch 
just a little bit more up on this one, but I think what I need to do is actually just take this. Oh, I gotta be so careful. But I just wanna pull, there we go, pull that one right over that. So that pushes that daisy right back, that's what it needed. Ignore the center, because I can fix that later. I'm going back to my yellow and white. On this side of the daisy, it would catch just a little bit more. Now with a clean quarter inch flat brush, I'm going to, I'm gonna work on some foliage down here. So just some stems and whatnot. Let me just start here with a bit of the dark sap green, a little bit of yellow ochre burnt umber. That's a pretty color. Honestly, I put way too much paint out. I'll probably have to save that or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's, let's start here. I don't know. I don't really want it too bright. Oh, that's, that is just, that's just about right. <laughs> that is just about right. So you can do this with a three quarter brush as well. I'm not going to go too wild. I'd say, you know, that would be a problem. I don't want to get into them being too wild there. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, didn't I, I think, I think I need like a little bit of a bud or two. So let me just take a little bit of my purple, mix it with white and just right there. Um, didn't I say, you know, like, oh, that's a bud. It doesn't look much like a bud anymore. Let me just maybe like right in here, something that looks more bud like, I don't know, just a something that just feels more structured. Let me stand back. Yeah. I don't know what that does, but it just, it just gives it some variety. I, I like that. I like that actually. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> you got to be somewhat deliberate with what you're doing. Uh, over here, maybe just a few, a few darker. I'm just going back into my dark sap green and black. Your painting may vary. Here's a little bit of purple with that as well. Sap green, not black. I said black, but that was not right. Sap green, burnt umber, and then some of our purple. Okay. And I think, right, yeah, like right here, if I just went boom, 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 and I'm going off the canvas, not too much, but just a just a flavor of it off the canvas there. I just think that that is interesting, maybe a little too much, but I can actually take my, my back, no, not that one, that one, the one I used for blending a while back, and I can just take it and, and sort of soften that back in a little, boom, boom, boom. I'm just going to pass over these one more time. That needed to be softened anyways, but I'm just going to widen, I'm just using a paint that's on the canvas. I'm just trying to widen those, widen, widen those out a bit. I think they're as, as nice as they are. I think they're a little too spindly. So widen those. There, that's pretty. Yes, yeah, see, that's a little more structure to it. And I think that that's a good thing overall. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And then, of course, I think that probably needs to be pushed into the shadow just a, just a little bit. Yes. It's so forgiving, isn't it? I, I hope you see how forgiving all that is. That's better to me as I stand back, yes. And it's kind of a mottled look there, and yeah, that'll work. A little sliver of purple on the back side of some of these might be, might be nice. Pure white, which won't be pure white because it's gonna mix, but just a little pure white, just to show a little highlight there. That's kind of pretty, okay. Boom. And on this one here, just a little more yellow and white. Just, just a little. Boom. Uh, subtle, subdued on that one. I don't think I want, I don't think I want anything quite that bright on that one. There it is. That's good enough. That one, of course, doesn't get any. A little bit there. Doesn't have to be all the same color. See, that one's more of the yellow ochre. This one here brighten that up quite a bit really I don't know how bright on my highlight I want to go yet let me put it in and see yeah something like that something like that is okay uh, a little bit of our dark purple again and then just increase the shadow there just just enough careful because your painting will look too methodical if you do too much of that. I'm just doing it very sparingly here and there. 
don't do too much of that. Now over here, I'm going to take some of that purple and a little bit blue, even black. Just, just need to soften this back a little. There it is. See that? Well, that wraps things up for this quick video, but hopefully you enjoyed it. it. Certainly was a different subject. I learned a lot on it. Don't forget to check out our website, DVDs, and brush line, and also Patreon. Thanks for watching. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you're not already and click the like button. That helps me out a lot. Stick around, watch a couple more videos and stay inspired.